data and private and our, and our personal privacy because that gives out a stern warning of how should we handle uh, you know our data how should our data be handled because it it's just a matter of negligence because when it comes to businesses, we're, they're, you know, uh, we, we, you do business with them and then they think that that data is them. They can do with, with it whatever they want without even having mm -hmm. to ask consent, consent from you. And to be honest, I was just excited about it. Mm -hmm. Just a short form of it. I was just excited about it on how they went through it. And I think that's, I, we are on the right path when it comes to, uh, but, but I think there is more to be done. There has to be more to be done. And other businesses should take this as a lesson on how are they handling and how are they processing their customers' data at mm -hmm. the end of the day. Because, and not just, you know, the second the customer walks, or walks out, of, uh, out, out of the door, you think that, that, okay, this information is mine. I can just use it however I want. I can just... You know, businesses need to have like protocols or they establish some protocols on how, how we're going to process this information here. Mm -hmm. And just before we, we um, head to how you are innovating to ensure that uh, the data is protected, um, data breaches just go beyond the use of tech devices. And I remember when we were starting the show, uh, I mentioned, um, uh, for instance, when you want to access a building in Nairobi, most buildings, um, you're required to write down your ID number and uh, probably some other personal information. What do you think, um, very briefly, should, do you think should be done to ensure that such data is uh, well protected and there's no data breach? I think on that, uh, that goes now to the organizations that are collecting this, inform this data and uh, in terms of the policies that they, are, they have, the organizational policies when it comes to that information that they are collecting. Because uh, it is a good, because it's, uh, I, I believe it started when, uh, okay, due to terror attacks and all, and all that. Mm -hmm. It's something that protects our national, secu national security. Yeah. But at the end of the day, uh, these organizations that are collecting this information, mm -hmm. they need to, you know, build stronger, uh, you know, uh, pri you know uh, privacy policies on the organizations and I think uh, the ODPC is kind of, you know, standing on the, okay, standing up and telling them, you have to do it, right? You, you just have to do it. So I think there is no excuse right now. There's, there's just no excuse. I think all now, because it has been a part of, now, you know, yeah, I'll mention, I'll reiterate this, it's mm -hmm. about negligence, okay. right? It's all about negligence. Mm -hmm. Uh, formulating policies around this, in, this information that you're collecting. It's not something that has to be complicated because you need to value this customer that is coming into this building, this person who is coming into this building. How are you protecting the, the, the information? They have, they have willingly decided, okay, yeah, I'm not, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not here to harm anyone. Mm -hmm. This is my information. So how can you just go on a, a, a step extra to make sure that that information stays or is used in uh, in the purposes that is supposed to be used, not uh, other people trying now to get that information and use it in other in other ways that are not supposed to, that were not originally purposed for that particular use. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. John, you're in the uh, you're in the online shopping space. Uh, some players in the online.